how can AI help you with accessibility right now? The focus of this presentation is on helping people who are working on their website's accessibility or working to make their digital content accessible. We're going to go over several ways that AI can help you immediately, starting with image descriptions. So sometimes images are difficult to describe. Um, and just think of an infographic. It can be difficult to write out a description for that infographic, especially because we're not only concerned with accuracy, but we want to be concise. We want to use as few of words as possible. And with AI, it's as easy as uploading that image. And then we can get a description back in seconds. And then of course we can edit that description, but AI is extremely helpful with image descriptions. Also with transcriptions, AI can not only gem generate transcriptions, but it can improve your existing transcriptions. So for example, AI can identify speakers, it can add punctuation, it can format, uh, a transcription into smaller paragraphs, etc. So AI is very helpful here. Relatedly with closed captions, AI can help you with these. So AI can create subtitles, potentially sub, uh, potentially captions if it has access to the different visuals in the video. And it can also improve the accuracy of captions. So if you go through and you use different tools, you will notice that the accuracy of subtitles varies. And just so we're clear, subtitles are going to be only the spoken dialogue and then captions are going to include any meaningful noises um, that are in the video, but AI can help you with closed captions right away. Also with code help, you can instantly get back feedback on your code. So you can copy, uh, you can view source on a web page, you can copy the code, and then you can ask AI how to fix the code and for tips on making your code accessible. So extremely helpful there. Also link purpose. So similar to image descriptions, sometimes it's difficult to come up with the correct or the appropriate anchor text for your text links or um, for your images that you're using, that you're linking to or, or linking from. So with AI, we can, uh, we can determine the appropriate link, uh, link anchor text to use. And so that's obviously going to help uh, someone understand the purpose of the link. Also, we can take uh, a technical we can take cont content that is technical or complex and lower the reading level so that we have a an alternative version of the text that is clearer, it's written in plain English, and it's easier to understand. So this is something that can help right away. Um, anytime you have any technical content, any scientific content, we can, we can provide an alternative version of that content that is clearer. And I think everybody would appreciate this. Also with audio descriptions, audio descriptions are difficult. They have been difficult. AI is making the process of adding audio descriptions easier. So I don't think this is a finalized product by any means, but there are already tools to help you with audio descriptions. So I don't, I think uh, when, I, when I said that earlier about it's not finished by any means, I think the process can be more seamless, but AI can already help you in, um, in, in, adding audio descriptions, so potentially just transcribing what's the visual information in the video, and then effectively adding narration to the video so that even if you're not having a video with the audio descriptions in place, you can create an alternative video with the audio descriptions. So audio descriptions have traditionally been difficult, but I think they are going to become a lot easier. And in fact, I know they will be a lot easier with AI. Also, with, uh, with AI, we can visually analyze um, images. So let's just say that we take a screenshot or maybe not even a screenshot, but like we can take the layout of a web page and we can have AI assess the design of that layout and AI can help you with the element and content visibility. So identifying places where maybe the content isn't as visible as that should be, or that the elements aren't, they don't stand out as much. We can, AI can help you with the ordering of the content. So let's say it's just making sure that the, the page flows better or that it's, it's more logical and it's intuitive. 
Um, it can help you with the ease of navigation, spacing, ratios of spacing and padding, um, the color contrast, the color combinations, the font size, potential problem area areas, um, element sizing, et cetera. So the visual analysis can be very, very helpful. And of course, this is getting into the more advanced aspects of accessibility and usability, but AI can be very helpful in helping you pinpoint areas where the usability and accessibility can be improved. And so that is it for all of these different practical ways that I have listed, but this is by no means exhaustive. These were just some of the things that were on the, at the top of my head and, and some of the many ways that I've already used AI uh, to help me with accessibility. And on this last slide, last slide, it's simply that if you need help with accessibility right now, um, accessible.org provides done for you accessibility services. And this includes audits, remediation and user testing. And then adacompliance.net provides ADA compliance and accessibility training on demand. 